Welcome to the MH2801 video segment on the recurrence relations of the Legendre functions. In the previous video segment, we have seen that <coughs> we have introduced the generating function of the Legendre function. which is gtx equals to 1 minus 2xt plus t squared, the whole thing raised to the power of minus 1 half. And we have seen how this, uh, by definition, can be written as a power series in t, uh, whose coefficients are precisely p and x, the Legendre, uh, Legendre functions. Now, <coughs> in this video segment, we will learn a little bit about the recurrence relations of the Legendre functions, that is how Pn of x is related to Pn minus 1 of x. Now to find these recurrence relations starting from the uh, generating function, let's differentiate the left hand side as well as the right hand side with respect to t. So what we will first do is to differentiate gtx respect to uh, t. So the left hand side will give us, left hand side gives us uh, minus one half, that's from the power, and then one minus two xt plus t square, and this is minus three half, and then finally uh, we differentiate inside, we will get minus two x plus two t and we can write this as uh, we can write this as x minus t divided by 1 minus 2x plus t square and then I will have another 1 over 1 minus 2x plus t square to the minus to the one half power and this I will replace by the power series itself. So sum equals 0 to infinity of Pn of x t to the n. Now the right hand side, the right hand side is the power series. I can differentiate that directly. So going from n equals 0 to infinity, uh, here I have p n x, not differentiated because it's not a function of t, uh, Then and then for t n I will just get n t n minus 1. So these two left hand side and right hand side are equal to each other and we can make it simple by cross multiplying the factors 1 minus 2xt plus t square into the right hand side and leaving x minus t behind. So let's do that, 1 minus 2xt plus t square times this sum here going from, now there's no point summing from 0 because n equals 0 will make it vanish, so let's sum from n equals to 1 and this is pnx, well, npnx times tn minus 1. And this will be equals to the left-hand side. I've kind of switched the order of the, the two sides, but it's okay. So, so x minus t times a sum uh, of over n equals 0 to infinity, pnx times tn. Now, uh, how do we get the recurrence relation from this point on? So let's uh, focus on focus on getting the coefficients of T M. <coughs> okay. So on the right hand side, if I want the coefficient of T M, now if I look, let's look at the the, the, the factor one multiply in here. If I want T M, then I need to choose n equals to m plus 1, so that this t to the n minus 1 will become t to the m, so I will have m plus 1, okay, n must be m plus 1, so this is pm plus 1 of x, okay, now the other one I have minus 2xt, there's a t here, so t when I multiply in here this becomes tn, and therefore in order to get t to the m, I need to choose n equals to m. So this is minus 2nx, p, 2mx, pmx. And this is the coefficient that we get if we look at the term that is uh, uh, generated by minus 2xt multiplying into the sum. And finally, if we multiply t squared into the sum, 
uh, we will get t to the n plus 1. So in order to get t to the m, I need to choose n equals to n equals to m plus 1. So let me write all those down. So here I need to choose n equals to m. For this term, I need to choose n equals to, uh, no, this first term I need to choose n plus 1. Second term, I need to choose n equals to m. And the last term, I need to choose n equals to m minus 1. And if I have n equals m minus 1 for the last term, I will get plus m minus 1 times p m minus 1 x. And this will be equals to, now on this side, now what must I pick n to be in order to get tm? And I realize that if I want tm, then I just have to pick uh, n equals to m. Okay, that's for the first term. And what, what will we get there? We will get x, p, m, x. And then secondly, if we bring in the uh, minus t, here we, need to, here we need to choose n equals to m minus 1. So that uh, t to the n plus 1 will become t to the m. And if we do that, that, that gives us minus p, m minus 1, x. Okay, so we can uh, rearrange the rearrange the, the recurrence relation a little bit. Uh, there's no more no other p m plus one in the whole equation, so we can simply write this as m plus one, p m plus one of x, and then p m x. There is an x here. There's an as as, as another x here as well. So if we bring this over, we will get minus two m plus one x p m x and then finally if i bring over uh, p m minus 1 x i will get plus m p m minus 1 x and this is equals to zero and this will be our first recurrence relation for the Legendre functions this is one that does not involve derivatives it gives p m plus 1 in terms of p m as well as pm minus 1. So it's a two-term recurrence relation. Now we can also get another recurrence relation by differentiating the generating function t, uh, gtx, with respect to x. Now what will happen if we do that? Now let's take a look. So if we differentiate gtx with respect to x, what we will get is on the left-hand side we will of course still get minus one half, one minus two x t plus t square minus three half, and now we differentiate inside the factor, so we will get minus two t only. Okay, so this we can rewrite as okay the minus minus half and the minus two cancel, so we get t over one minus two x t plus t square, and then. Uh, we will have our sum going from n equals to 0 to infinity of p n x t to the n. On the right hand side, on the right hand side, we differentiate the power series respect to x. So we get a whole power series of derivatives, which is the sum from n equals to 0 to infinity p prime n x t to the n. Now let's say again we are interested in the coefficients of t to the m. Now how do we get these? We choose. We get it by choosing. By choosing. Uh, well, first of all, we have to cross multiply. Let's do that first. Uh, if we cross multiply, we get one minus two x t plus t square times the sum from n equals to zero to infinity p prime n x t to the n and this will be equals to uh, t times a sum from n equals to 0 to infinity of p n x t n okay now if we want the coefficient of t to the m then here we just have to choose n equals to m for, for the second uh, term in the factor uh, we have to choose n equals to uh, m minus 1 
And then for the second term, we have to choose n equals to m minus 2. And here we need to choose n equals to m minus 1. So if with all these choices, we, we see that we immediately we get uh, p prime m x okay, minus okay, 2 x p prime n m minus 1 x and then plus p prime n m minus 2 x and this it will be give equal to p m minus 1 x and that's the recurrence relation now of course we can uh, we can instead of writing p m in terms of up to p m minus 2 we can of course uh, write this as p m plus 1 prime x Okay, minus 2x p prime m x plus p prime m minus 1 x equals to p m x and this will be the second recurrence relation that we get for the Legendre functions so for a for, for a generating function that consists of two variables this is the maximum number of recurrence relations that we can obtain.